objectively three bells experienced tremendous success over the last five years, mm -hmm. which congratulations. No, I appreciate that. Thank you. Are there any differentiators that you built into three bells offering to clients that you think really separates three bell from the rest of the wealth management 401k pack? Yeah, I think, you know, a lot of financial advisors are going to refer to themselves as wealth managers. And I think uh, most of the time they do that because it sounds cooler. <laughs> um, but in, in reality, wealth management means you're going well beyond managing a portfolio of assets and you're putting together a comprehensive plan that covers everything that impacts a client financially. And that can be, it's certainly a portfolio, but it's also estate planning, tax strategy, right? Charitable planning. Uh, everything down to, you know, what kind of entity should they be forming for their startup? How do our clients deal with equity compensation? It, it really is fairly holistic. Um, and we have a knowledge base and we have a process and we have systems that are specifically designed to address those issues for our clients and, and build it into a plan, right? So that's very, very unique. A lot of people say that they do it, but most actually don't, right? So I think one is just the comprehensive nature of the engagement that we have with our clients. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, as a result, we represent fewer clients. We have 220 families or so that we represent. Um, we have uh, six advisors on our staff. Um, all of the advisors work on all of the accounts collaboratively. That's also very unique. You get a brain trust, not a team of one that just happens to be under the same banner. So organizationally, I think that's very different. Um, that's very cool. And, and to stop you really quick, mm -hmm. I read something online where you're almost relating it to Jerry Maguire's yeah. strategy yeah. With, uh, it, with his clients. Yeah, no, I, yeah, exactly. Al although at this point in time, if I, if I make Jerry Maguire references, most of the millennials on my team don't have any <laughs> idea what I'm talking about. But, uh, it's but a yeah, classic. Yeah, totally. And, and if you think about you know, where Jerry Maguire's uh, you know, firm started, it was with one client, right? And the, 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 the philosophy behind that was it was better to have fewer relationships, but deeper relationships, right? And so in the advisory world, um, you, you have to go one of two ways. You either have to try and be all things to a, a limited number of people, and that's the direction that we went, or you have to try and be a very small thing to as many people as you possibly can. And that's what you're going to get with most wirehouse firms, not, not to pick on you know, any uh, individually, but it's going to be the bigger banks that you, know, you might be more familiar with. Is there anything else that you think caused 3Bell to become so successful so quickly? Yeah, I think the other thing that I was, was going to reference is really zeroing in on the portfolio side. And for, you know, since the 1930s, right, um, portfolios have been defined by stocks, stock market, or bonds, fixed income. And advisors have worked to try and figure out what mix of those two asset classes is most appropriate for their clients. And that's usually a combination of risk tolerance, right? Are you aggressive? Are you conservative? Or and or time horizon. How long do you have before you need to start drawing on these assets, right? And that's actually worked pretty darn well for an extended period of time. What's interesting is, is that um, if you look at the way endowments and sovereign wealth funds actually structure their portfolios, it looks vastly different than stocks and bonds. And what you'll see with Stanford, Harvard, Yale, these endowments that have outperformed significantly on an annualized basis over the same time period, what you'll see is that maybe only 10 to 25% of the assets are gonna be in the stock market at any given time. The rest are going to be in what would be termed alternative investments. And they could be real estate, uh, they could be insurance policies, uh, they could be merger arbitrage, it could be currencies, um, there are a variety of different investment strategies that sort of fall outside of the scope of either stocks or bonds. And what's really interesting is that um, the endowments have figured this out, right? And the, the results are clear. It's just a clearly superior way uh, to manage assets, which of course begs the question, well, then why doesn't everybody do it that way? And the problem is, is that you've got to have access. And so one of the things that 3Bell does that's very, very different is we democratize access to those types of uh, investments. So we're able to go out and replicate an endowment style portfolio, but for an individual family. And wow. that's very, very different. 